the city of Norwich is bracing itself for a Russian invasion. I know that what I'm building appeals to me so much that it will appeal to people who are like me, so I know they will come. This is the story of one Russian woman's dream to create the ultimate English hotel. It's my unborn child, and I think I've been carrying it for the last four and a half years. She has never done anything like this before, but she knows what she likes. Don't tell me what I can put or what I cannot put. I can put whatever I want. It's my vision, it's my restaurant, it's my hotel. But has she taken on more than she bargained for? I have to present to the world that we can do it. Failure is not an option. With St. Giles' house finally open, Lana and Carlton's first Christmas as hotelier should have been something to celebrate. But with no money left to employ staff, the dream fast turned into a nightmare. I would have chucked this in some while ago. So I'm only doing this because, you know, the Lana would be really upset if I chucked it in. I had to beg with my bank managers to um, honour the paychecks. She keeps hoping that the, the bank will come through, but banks are not there to be your friends. And there suddenly comes a point where they say, nope, and we're at that. Their only chance of salvation lay in Moscow with their biggest investor, Lana's cousin, Dmitri. It is as I expected. We're gonna have to go to Moscow. Dimitri now holds the keys to the future of St. Giles' house. Lana and Carlton face a cold reception. In the grip of a Siberian winter, temperatures in Moscow are well below freezing. As Dimitri arrives with his entourage to collect Lana and Carlton and take them across the city to his office. There's an awkward moment as Carlton learns he will not be traveling with Lana. Dima wants to have a, uh, a quiet word with Lana. So we're in two cars now. 